skip the learning curve, like skip messing up, skip failing by actually What is up guys, Thaddeus here. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the true cost of drop shipping, right? Um, a lot of people, uh, you know, including myself, like you can get started relatively cheap, like really, really cheap guys. That's why it's one of the easiest industries to get into, which is why, you know, it's one of the most popular business models right now that a lot of people are looking at, right? Which is, might be one of the reasons why you're watching the video, okay? But the true cost of dropshipping, right? There's, there's a bunch of these small little factors and fees that again, if you aren't accounting for, if you aren't paying attention to, could you know run you dry down the road, especially if you're starting off with a small budget. Because I know a lot of you guys are beginners, a lot of you guys are just you know getting into drop shipping for the first time. You might not have the biggest budget, you might not have you know the biggest um, allowance, I guess you could say, that allows you to you know spend and lose a little bit here and there. Um, so that, I mean that's okay, right? So that's why I want to give you guys kind of a, a breakdown of the costs you may be looking um, at, right? Um, if you want to do drop shipping well, right? If you want to actually do it well, do it right, and actually know how much you're going to be spending to do that. Okay, so again, just to get it out of the way, right? The Shopify trial, twenty nine dollars. Like I said, like out of everything, guys, I have like six or seven bullet points that are really really core features that you will have to. Um, basically pay for again it's not super expensive but if you're just starting out um, it's definitely something you want to account for um, when when you're looking at starting okay so again Shopify trial guys $29 you don't need to buy the expensive plans you don't need to buy the middle plan you don't need to buy the highest plan you can get the cheapest plan with a 14 day free trial for $29 okay you're not even billed for the 14 days and again guys what I've told what I've told people for for like years now okay is you you don't need to even spend money until you're ready to make money okay what I mean that is you have 14 days okay the Shopify trial is 14 days long okay that's more than enough time to get your website up, get your products, get your social media sorted, okay? Actually order some product. Again, if you're if you're planning this ahead of time and wanna do it well, you'll have product by then that you can actually use on your website, on your social media, prepare for ads, all this kind of stuff, okay? So again, you don't really need to spend anything too out of pocket or like to actually start your Shopify shop. So that $29, you don't even need to be billed until you're actually ready to hit the market, okay? Now, number two, ordering products. A lot of people, when they start drop shipping, right, they wanna just use the AliExpress pictures, they wanna use um, stock photos, all that kind of stuff, right? And it works, you can get sales from it. Again, I've done a case study, right, where I've actually done two stores selling the exact same stuff one with con custom content, one with AliExpress photos, the custom content one actually made three times more money, okay? So again, you, you can convert with that stuff, but if you have custom photos, custom content, guys, you can convert a lot more, okay? It's easier, it's, your cost per acquisition goes a lot, like goes down drastically, okay? So you wanna order products right off the bat, okay? So again, if you can make your site seem like it's its own brand, it's unique, um, then then you're getting sales, right? Then it's easier to convert people. It's, it's easier to build trust um, and actually get people to you know give you their their credit cards so that you make money, right? So, and ordering product guys, depending on what you're selling, could really range anywhere between twenty dollars, sometimes less if you're selling cheap products, uh, up to you know a hundred dollars, right? So you're paying that. Um, if you want to you know get product quick, right? You might be paying for DHL shipping, which here in the states, right, that'll run you forty fifty dollars just for shipping, but you'll get it in three to five days. Okay, compared to the standard e-packet, which only costs you two dollars, but you get it in between you know twelve and twenty days. Okay. Second thing, your marketing budget. Okay, a lot of people don't account for this. A lot of people focus so much on their website, on the product, on all this kind of stuff that when they actually like when it comes time to hit the market to actually deliver, you know, your your product and get exposure for it. They, they don't have money for that, right? They, they only have money for a few shout outs here and there. They don't have money to run ads for a few days. Um, and that's that's really not enough, guys, especially with, with the booming market and the, the growing interest in drop shipping, right? You need to do it well. And to do it well, you need to be able to market well. And to market well, you need to be able to experiment a lot. And to experiment a lot, you need to have at least a little bit of money to spend, right, on your marketing budget. So that's why I say at least, guys, be able to spend $50 a week. Again, that's, that's really, really cheap still. Um, but it'll at least, at least allow you to start you know, generating data, getting results, being able to split test, being able to cut um, certain ad sets, being able to start new ad sets, especially on Facebook and stuff like that. Um, if you're doing you know, influencer shouts and stuff, um, the marketing budget can you know, fluctuate drastically, but if you want something more stable and are looking at just a pure like, okay, how much is this you know, gonna cost me to get into drop shipping? $50 at least a week um, should be your minimum amount that you're willing to spend, okay? Um, and again, with Facebook ads, you're not actually billed until you hit a threshold. So most of you guys, when you first start, you'll have like a $100 threshold. So you won't even be billed for the first two weeks. Uh, next up, guys, resources. Okay, what I mean by that is like being able to skip the learning curve, like skip 
messing up, skip failing by actually, you know, knowing what to do. And what I mean by that is like literally going online, doing your research, okay, and investing in yourself, okay? Again, that I don't have a price tag on. I'm just saying you guys should be doing research outside of just trying to hop in um, and, you know, jump in with both feet and um, hope, to, hope to swim, right? So again, that's just a little helpful tip for you guys. Like I literally learned by failing, but that's like I didn't, I lost like $10,000, guys. I've lost more than $10,000 when I first tried to dropship, okay? And I don't want you guys to have to go through that, which is why I make videos trying to help you guys, but also like just to tell you guys that you guys should be doing your own research, which again, you're watching this video, so props, okay? Now, next up, a virtual assistant. You won't need this right away. Again, this is just the cost of dropship and what you should be looking forward to. Um, and again, VA is one of the, one of the best when you hire a VA, guys, it's one of the best moments um, you'll experience for job training, especially your first VA, right? Because that one, it means you just got more free time. Two, you're starting to actually automate your business and separate yourself, like your personal entity, from your store, okay? So that what, what that means is like you're actually you know, becoming like an entrepreneur or business owner instead of a business employee for your own store, okay? That's one of the main goals of dropshipping that I want to stress to you guys. So you should be looking to get a VA basically as soon as you can, as soon as you're trying to bring in volume um, and consistent orders, okay? Now what that'll run you is anywhere between, you know, three and five dollars for a solid VA that's cheap um, that can actually get the job done. So that's three to five dollars an hour, guys. Um, basically, depend again, it depends on your volume, right? So if you're turning out a lot of volume, you could be pay paying, you know, a couple hundred a week versus, you know, maybe just a hundred dollars, even less, like fifty dollars, okay, depending on your volume. So that's something to look forward to or look, you know, look out for, um, as well as look forward to. Now, next, apps, guys. Um, apps you could be spending anywhere for, I just say twenty dollars a month just to get started. Like, there's a few like really, really good ones that you always want to have, like Luke's L O O X. That's a really solid app. There's a bunch of good privy, uh, a bunch of good email marketing apps like Privy, uh, Clavi. Clavio, have you say that stuff? Um, you know the spin the wheel one. I never know the name of that. Um, apps like that, guys, where they usually offer you a free trial anyways, but then they start charging you, right? And again, you want you need to be on top of what you're spending to to be able to profit off of what you're making. Okay, if you don't know how much you're spending, you can't really know how much you're profiting, like you're making. Okay, so always be good on your numbers. Okay, now next up, other software, guys. So. A little secret, a little hint that that most people don't realize, especially you know people just jumping into the space, is that really, really good dropshippers, they don't just use you know the Shopify apps for for marketing. They don't just use um, what's on the platform. What I mean by that is there's a bunch of third-party websites and softwares and programs that we're using to you know help us get data, help us gather information, help us determine what product we want to sell next. Dropshipping is a data game. It's a numbers game. If you know numbers, you can print money, and that's like with any business though. But again. That's 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 just other softwares and programs. Which again, if you are trying to you know actually get into the industry and take this seriously and get results, you're probably going to be using other softwares, other third-party softwares. One example is Dropship Spy. Um, that's just how you find you know trending products on AliExpress. Just because AliExpress product sourcing in itself, just by going on AliExpress, is crap. It's literally terrible, and it's super super hard to actually find um, a a val like a. a What's the word? Sorry, guys. It's literally five in the morning right now. Um, but it's hard to find a viable product. That's the word um, on AliExpress. So again, there's other third party like platforms. Again, there's a link in description. Um, there's also a link in description for the Shopify free trial, guys. If you are um, looking to get started and actually take this seriously. But again, don't start your trial until you actually know what you're going to be doing because those 14 days are valuable, especially if you're really, really new, right? If you kind of know what you're already doing, then go ahead. If you're really, really new to the game, guys, I wouldn't start your trial yet or you start it, but actually plan to just start a new trial when you're actually going to launch the store and just start a trial right now just to actually get familiar with the platform, okay? That's basically it, guys. So there's there's those seven kind of things and you know all together, right? Your first month trying to get everything prepared will probably be one of your more expensive months if you're just getting started, right? So. If you're just just getting started with dropshipping, right? This is your first store, your or maybe not your first store, but the first store you want to do well and correctly, then you could be looking usually at I'd say a hundred to two hundred and fifty dollars just to get started uh, with dropshipping. Again, that's again like an investment. Depends on your budget and everything. If you have a really good budget or not a good but a big budget, right? Then obviously you know you can spend a lot more. You have the potential to make a lot more. Um, you know with ads and shoutouts and all that kind of stuff. So guys, that is really the cost of dropshipping. A lot of people are like, oh, you can get started for free. Just you know with the Shopify free trial, but like the, there's more to it. Um, and that's just what I want to let you guys know so you guys can actually kind of get get kind of like a read on the actual situation and know whether or not, um, you know, at your current state in your financial situation, whether or not you'll actually be able to kind of do this comfortably and not have to worry about, oh, you know, I have these bills to pay, I have these commitments 
um, these financial obligations. I don't know if I can drop ship, right? So that number, right, 100 to 250, again, it's, it's a little broad, but it also depends on a lot of your own personal factors. But that should give you guys some insight into just the actual cost of drop shipping and how to actually get started, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, it's a quick little one. Again, it's five in the morning, so apologies um, if I look tired. I literally haven't slept yet. I'm about to. Um, but yeah, guys, this is the video. Leave a like. Leave a comment. I respond to everybody's comments. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. We are hitting the YouTube game back hard. And I got a lot. I got a lot of surprises for you guys. There's a bunch of free content coming. I'm thinking of doing like um, a drop shipping tip of the day. Um, if you guys are interested in that, just you know, comment down below. Um, there's so much stuff I got going for you guys that's literally just like free. Like, I'm trying to blow up the value game here. So that's that's the plan, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace. And last but not least, don't forget to check out my social media and follow me for updates, giveaways, and literally everything that's cool. It's all night. I can do this all day. I can do this all night. Don't give me too be easy. I like a little challenge. When it feels better, when you take a little damage. Slow, learn it fast, burn it, stay burn it, wheels turn it, it's so hard.